All right. Well, I guess we'll just hit the intro now. Yeah. Uh, hey guys, it's your boy Dev the Beast here, and Minecraft. That's the game I'm deciding to start for now. But if anyone ha wants to see one of the other two games, feel free to vote on the poll. I'll still check it out for a bit longer and whatnot. It's only been up for about a day as of recording this, but yeah, I figured, you know, of the three games posted, I feel like, you know, Minecraft could be, could be the one, but more importantly, I guess just, I don't know. I, I'm down for all three, but hopping on Minecraft felt like the way to go, but I'm here now and I kind of don't know how this is going to go, so I'll try it, but hopefully together we can make something cool out of this but yeah i've got some ideas for overall what i kind of want to do but i know for me typically anytime i've played minecraft on my own with my friends whatever i've always gotten really ambitious with like building a base whatnot but it always feels like the end goal is beating the ender dragon and so after that i tend to just kind of lose interest so hopefully I can push a lot farther than that. Hopefully, with your help, I we can, you know, make this series an actual, like, good series. Because, I mean, I, if you've been around or just glanced through my channel, you'll see that I did play this game a number of years ago. But it was, that was only, like, four videos. And, yeah. Something that I did there that... You know, I don't want to say it took the fun out of it, but I played on a seed that I had already kind of like studied, not study a bit, but a seed that I'd gotten because I knew I wanted to, you know, try and terraform a mushroom biome. And so like not playing on a fresh seed kind of made it awkward. But then also I believe I was using chunk base every now and then to try and find stuff. So it's little things like that that I want to try and avoid because... You know, it could take the fun out of the game a bit. So, I think I'm going to just try and do things completely standard, I guess. And just see where we go with it. But, I've had a couple ideas for, like, if I do play Minecraft, what I... Or, yeah, if I chose to have Minecraft be the survival game I play... Had a couple ideas on how to, like, I guess, spice it up. Make, give me ideas for stuff to do. Involve anyone watching. And so, like, one of the things I thought of is, like, making a book in Quill. Having, like, random little, either setting out some goals for myself to do. Or having ideas from you guys, like, of what you want to see me accomplish in a video, for example. So, I don't know how successful that one will be, but I feel like it could be fun. But I'm not going to worry about that too, too much right now since, you know, it's the start of a Minecraft world. Those always happen kind of slow. But, I mean, I know what I'm doing, so I guess right now the goal of this video is just going to be find a place that I will settle down at. I would have been... A little upset had I accidentally hit that villager. But yeah. Find a place to call home. Set up a little campsite whatnot. And then... Yeah. Get equipped with some stuff. Ooh. Alright. Cool. Yeah, this village doesn't seem to have a lot of good stuff. But there is a ruined portal right over there. So that's kind of cool. But yeah. I mean, hell, crop yeah, crop-wise, these potatoes are probably about the only good thing I'll get. It's like just this and then reboot, re reboots, root beads. Fuck it. Am I stupid? Beetroots. Jesus. What, that did... Nah, go, go ahead, play me in the comments for that one. I said every way to say that except for the actual damn way go ahead yeah just go ahead I, I i deserve you know any jokes on that one i earned that all right though yeah just potatoes beetroots all 
All right. Just standard Minecraft things, or at least bedrock. Hey, gold ingots and a gold apple. Nice, nice. Flint and steel. I'll take the axe. Actually, at this rate, might as well take the chest too. I don't mind a free chest. No gold blocks. Not like I have iron to mine it, but still. Spruce. One of my favorite types of biomes. But I'm not sure if that's where I would want to build my up-and-coming kingdom that I'm envisioning. Which, I guess, will segue into the thought that, yeah, I, um... For the most part, I only have a couple types of bases that I'll really commit to building and whatnot. And that's going to be a like a cave house. Just be a bit of a hermit like that, whatnot. Just live in a cave. Or a castle. Those are like my two big ones that I go for. And so, I don't commonly succeed with the castle idea. I have once or twice, but yeah, castles, I tend to, you know, you, you know the saying, go big or go home, and so typically I tend to go home, but there's been a couple times where I've pulled off something interesting. The main, the most notable one for me is when the nether update was dropping, and so my friends and I made a realm and whatnot, if I'm smart and think of it all. Put some sort of, you know, footage up, but, you know, editing me will probably put it up. Whatever. I'm getting sidetracked with my thoughts. But Nether Update came out, and so I was like, yo, I, I would love to, you know, experiment with this new stone type. And also, you know, there's apparently a way to respawn in the Nether with the respawn anchor, so I decided... Let's try and make a castle in the nether. And so that's probably the one time I actually like committed to finishing a build like that. The only other time that I can recall uh, making a castle and actually finishing it, seeing it through to the end, was on one of my, personally, one of my most favorite worlds I had with almost all my friends and whatnot. And so we all... We all lived in a ravine for the most part. Only one of us didn't, but pretty much all of us lived in a ravine. And then after we beat the Ender Dragon and whatnot, we still played. So that's probably another reason I liked it, because we kept the world going beyond beating the dragon. But I decided I want to try and build some sort of like floating castle and whatnot. So my idea was to have it kind of try and like a makeshift cloud and whatnot just castle in the clouds type of thing now unfortunately this was before the block limit raise with uh caves and cliffs so it was awkward because of how low it was in comparison to what it could have been now but yeah point is another castle complete so yeah that's all to say Oh, actually, sorry to cut off my thoughts. Is this a flower mountain? If so, I might be able to do something with this. And a village. Ooh. Also, I typically don't, like, have third person available. I swapped it on just for the sake of recording. <laughs> just so I could, I guess, look at you guys, if you will. Yeah, though. Uh, Back to what I was saying. Uh... That's basically just a couple examples of, like, me building castles, but over time I've started to kind of learn and realize that my thought of what a castle is is not super accurate to what a castle actually is. Because, I mean, cartoon castles, uh, you know, castles that you see, like sand castles, you always kind of just imagine it, like, at least for me, I always just imagined it, you know, the box, it's got the few towers at each corner, and that's that. But I also know, like, Disney castles and whatnot, stuff like that, instead of, instead of it being, 
the watchtowers or instead of the watchtowers being i forget what the term is but i'm just gonna describe it as spiky i don't know the the roofs wow my first diamond all right uh the roofs have their bit of protection kind of like this like say the roof is just you're lying two creepers over here okay well there goes those thoughts yeah uh i'll put i'll put up the actual term and whatnot and probably a photo so it makes more sense instead of just you know my blabbing but yeah instead of uh those as defense whatnot it's like the actual cones on top whatever basically i'm realizing more and more my idea of a castle is not actually quite what a castle would be like oh actually that's a good example like how the church there has those blocks around it yeah but say if this was like a castle like my young self used to think it was supposed to be instead of just those it would actually have a tall cone on top and I know some castles in your life have that. And some kind of have a mix of the two. But. Yeah, I also know. I don't know. I. And literally until just a few days ago. I didn't realize that one of my favorite video games. And whatnot. And childhood video games. Which is going to be Spyro 2. Ripto's Rage. I didn't realize that one of the homeworlds in that game was literally a castle. Like, I don't know what I was thinking, but I now realize it's a castle and a pretty cool one at that. And so, in thinking of, in realizing that, it helped me kind of think, visualize, whatever. What I guess I could do in this game to try and enhance my original thought of a castle. Because, yeah, at this point... I think I'm going to try and, you know, build a giant castle, kingdom, whatever. And hopefully it turns out good. But, yeah. Uh, if I'm smart, I'll also throw up... I'll also have thrown up some pictures of, you know, some cave houses that I've built to show the other direction I might go. Or other direction I tend to go. And so I'm open to experimenting, messing around with stuff. But yeah, I think overall I want to find a good area. And just, I guess kind of, I don't want to say terraform the hell out of it. But I, I'll, I'll work with the land as I need to. But I want to build around the land and whatnot. Make a giant castle, I think. Giant kingdom. The only thing that sucks is now knowing what's to come in uh, update 1.21 trials and or is it trails and trials or no tricky trials that's what it is my fault uh, with what oh hey interesting tree just sitting there all right with what's to come in tricky trials it's like the trials will be cool themselves but more importantly for me i want to know not want to know i would love to utilize the tough bricks but that update isn't out on bedrock yet which is very unfortunate okay i know i saw that ice mountain so i think i'm a little too far yeah there we go making my way back to where i was sub fox yeah, so I'd love to utilize the tough bricks, but I'm just going to work with the three main stone bricks that I have right now being uh, cobblestone, blackstone, and deep slate. Which is a combo I tried to, you know, work with. If anyone watched the, uh, the series that I tried to do on Minecraft some time ago. If not, I don't blame you, and I wouldn't recommend watching it. I'll just throw up some clips, I guess, or just some photos of the castle that I was trying to go for in that series. But, yeah, I tried to work with that combo. I started working on it, but I never finished it. But I think I had a D 
decent thing going. One of the things I liked about it was how I, or what I was doing, like terraforming the land and whatnot, I guess. But yeah, I was thinking having the main castle bit raised off the ground or like on a hill above other stuff. What the five diamonds? That's actually wild. And three iron shovels. All right, uh, I'll take it. Yeah, though. Sorry about my yapping. I just, I, I don't know. I just trying to give some insights onto my thought process for what I might do this series and see how far it goes. Yeah, I guess just hopefully you appreciated any of those insights and whatnot. Hopefully that helps both of us get a sense of direction for where this might go right now. But yeah, I'm going to continue looting this village and then we'll see if I'm satisfied with what I get out of it. I kind of want a decent looking area because I'm not good with terraforming. But if I do need to terraform, I definitely can. But, oh hey, a beehive. Nice. But yeah, it'll be easier for me if I have a decent area to work with, I guess. And that's a creeper. I'm not trying to get killed by one of those again. I'm shocked I cleared that gap. Is there a bed? Nope. I'll take the books, though. It's a bit too early to worry about enchanting, but I'll take it. And a lectern. I know there's a lot of aspects of recent updates that I haven't really messed with. I'm also going to craft a shield with that one iron. Sorry, I keep going back and forth with stuff. But, yeah. One of the main things, not recent, but one of the main things that I've never really gotten the hang of or bothered to look into was working with villagers. And I know that they are working to update that to make it less overpowered. Because one of the reasons I never really worked with villagers was just because, I mean, it wasn't really my play style but also because from experiencing like my friends messing with it and stuff it seemed very very overpowered like to the point where it felt like it kind of took some of the fun out of the game just being able to spend one diamond on like or not one diamond being able to spend like okay i'm I'm thinking too hard about it, but yeah, like 10 emeralds to get full enchanted diamond armor and whatnot. Not like the enchants are super duper good, but still. Uh, spending. Or. You, you know what I'm saying? It just it felt like it made the game too damn easy, in my opinion. And so. I was never really a fan it was nice and handy like you know if you lose all your stuff falling into the void fighting the ender dragon or you lose all your stuff in lava in the nether stuff like that it's a quick way to get some decent stuff back and i think at the end of the day it is something i'll try and mess with if this world you know this world and series like continues and becomes something but yeah it's the, the villager or working with villagers making farms for like iron gold stuff like that those types of things they're nice they're handy but there's stuff that i've never looked into some of the stuff i would like to look into but i just never have like XP farms. Oh, yeah. That caught me so off guard for a moment. Forgot that that was a thing. Sub, dog. Yeah. Um. 
XP farms are like the closest I've come to looking into stuff, and I think the only ones that I've tried to work with is like just simple mob spawner and whatnot. Have them fall damn near to their death, and then um, what's the other one? I know, but it's it, it's not coming to me. It, it's like on the tip of my tongue. Like the kelp bamboo type thing, where you just smelt it, and then, like, smelt it, have it go into a chest, whatnot, so it, like, infinitely smelts and just stacks XP. You take one out and, like, get all the built-up XP that has been racking. That type of thing. Prismarine is something that, like, I'm down to try and work with, but, and whatnot, it's just always come off as a pain to try and get, so I've never really bothered. But then again, I've you know i guess don't play the game like many other people i'm not gonna say many other people but many other people you see on youtube and whatnot would but yeah that's i don't know again i want to try and dive deeper into minecraft than i ever really have i guess i just hope that i can because i know the way I am with this game, sometimes it's hard to be motivated to play, even though I want to, you know, build cool stuff. But then also we'll see, depending on some free time. But today, tomorrow, I've got time. And then I have work for a couple days. But yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I also know I need to edit down the stream that I did yesterday of Galaxy Heroes, but I'll probably do that after making this video i don't know how long this video will be i don't know how much will get done but yeah probably just i mean honestly the area that i've like started right by already seems pretty good i'd say okay i'm gonna die if i try and take that fall i tend to fumble a lot when it comes to dealing with mobs in this game so you might see some examples of that I'll try my best. Another thing that I would have liked to do is have this or just have either have this world or the idea of making another world on hardcore since that's supposed to come to bedrock, but I can't do that right now. And so again, I'll hold on to that idea and I might still do something on hardcore when that comes around. But for now, I'm going to try and treat this as hardcore and try and avoid death as best as I can. You're lying. And then, yeah, we'll see how it goes. But if I die, I'm definitely not going to delete the world. I'll probably still play on it and all that. But I'll try and value this life that I have. But, yeah, I guess we'll just see how far we get into i guess yeah i what am i trying to say basically just i guess i'll see how deep i get into minecraft in the coming weeks or so with this series because I, I i would like again i i feel like i've said this a number of times already i would like this to go somewhere but i also know with my experience with minecraft i might struggle to keep up with it and make it go somewhere but I also know I still need to stream, not stream, but I, I don't know. I, I don't need to overload myself or you guys with too many different series. But yeah, Galaxy Heroes, I'll mess around with on stream a bit when it seems relevant or whatnot. Which I've kind of not done so much lately. But then... Cuphead, we're still trying to finish through that, which right now is just trying to do everything on expert mode, and I might try and mess with that a bit later. We'll see. And then, yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't want to do Grounded or Pal World alongside Minecraft. I could, but I feel like, you know, running two survival type games could be a little bit much you know but as always i am open to suggestions for you know any other games 
actually it's gonna be really random but i mean i know i a game that i was interested in and i'd managed to download since it got added to game pass was lego 2k drive I, i've been meaning to check that out but i haven't yet so maybe i'll try and do something here with that i'm really about to just end myself just trying to be tarzan with this that's crazy where's your parents cow i need food but yeah uh that's about all the games that are coming to mind for me right now if anyone does have any suggestions again i did just say this another instance of me repeating myself but yeah I am open to suggestions. Oh, I can't eat your raw food because that could kill me. Not kill me, but uh, hunger. Come on, buddy. There we go. Yeah, though. I guess I'll just shut my mouth for now, stop yapping, and cut back at the next interesting moment. Hopefully interesting. I don't know. But yeah, I guess before I cut away, I, I hope my yapping and whatnot isn't too much of a problem. I'm just trying to, I guess, share my thoughts. I, I don't know. I know... I, I, I don't really know how to describe it. I, I think I'm starting to find the words for it. It's like... Everyone that I, not everyone, but a lot of the people that I watch tend to be high octane and whatnot, really energized. And so sometimes I know I like to just watch something or someone who's quite a bit more laid back. And so I know, you know, the high octane stuff tends to, you know, I guess help retain viewership and whatnot, but... At the end of the day, it just kind of feels like that's not me. I, I can get high octane, especially like exciting stuff. But if it's exciting stuff or new stuff, like if I had actually stopped playing Pal Worlds on my own after getting to, I don't know, let's just say level 10, because that's about where I got to when I kind of made the decision to continue it on my own instead of stop exploring, messing around and do it on YouTube. I could have been a lot more high octane with it or that could have been high octane because it would have been me like doing new stuff but minecraft is a game i've played time and time again i've i'd say I, i'd say i get deep into it at least tw i'd say not at least but i'd say probably twice a year is a good estimate and so point is well that and i've been playing it for 10 years now so it's a game i know a lot there's not too too much to be i don't want to say there's not much to be excited about because there is i'm excited to see how these trials go or like the new trials thing goes i'm excited to be able to get my hands on the mace whenever that drops i i tend to look forward to the new updates i know I know that's kind of an unpopular opinion, at least if you, at least if you look at certain parts of the uh, community. Is that an ice spire? If so, then I might have just found one of the, like, one of the biomes ever. Yeah, but, ooh, hay bales, I need those actually. That is just straight up an ice spire. Nice. I might then decide to... I mean, this is also a nice open field, so I might call this place home. The only thing that'll suck with that is going to be the fact that... I then have to go back and get all my stuff. But, I mean, I can do it. Yeah, what, what, what was I saying? I was rambling about me not being super high octane, but, you know. new st Stuff that's new to me... Yeah, stuff that's new to me, I can get high octane with because, you know, especially, like, depending on how cool or, like, unexpected stuff is. Like, for example, not like it's something that 
Not like it's something that uh, I can entirely relate to, but say if I was playing Subnautica for the first time, that would have a lot of high high energy, high tension stuff for me. But I mean, even just watching it and whatnot for the first time, because I watched it many times before I actually played it. Uh. Yeah, it had me on the edge of my seat a lot just seeing it, but a lot of the, I'd say, hell, maybe not even a lot of this stuff, but maybe everything that I've, like, watched, played, not watched, but everything that I've done on YouTube, that's what I'm trying to say. I think everything I've done on YouTube with exception to maybe the Cuphead DLC, has been something that I've already had experience with. That and Trailmakers. Trailmakers, I did not have much experience with when I went and did that on YouTube. But I think everything else I did have experience with. Kind of with Grounded as well. I, I knew, Bef what am I trying to say? My series on Grounded started when the game fully released, but I had played for probably about a month-ish when it was in its early access phase, beta, whatever. And so, uh, I'd gotten a fair bit far, but mainly... Mainly just, like, to the four main labs that I would say is actually kind of early game. But anything beyond that, story-wise, I didn't experience. So, there's a lot of, like, new stuff for me in that series. But the first few videos, I knew what I was doing. Knew what to look for. Knew what I wanted to get. But then there's a lot of those, I guess bit more energy i guess i would I, yeah i guess i would describe it as like moments where i had a bit more energy because it's something that's new to me and so that's going to be the thing that kind of i don't want to say sucks but could make going through something like minecraft for the two for like the 2000th time i guess a bit more awkward or unenjoyable for for you guys and or myself is the fact that there is so much that's not new to me that that's also kind of why i'm rambling a lot is because it's not like oh what's he doing it's his first time playing whatnot so there's not that kind of intrigue with it i've i've done this song and dance plenty of times so now it's just a matter of, I guess, I I, I don't know. I, I, I don't even, I, I could be entirely off with what I'm rambling about, but the way it feels to me is like, it might be easier to, to focus just on the game, I guess, and do my thing with that when I know that it's something new to me. But when I know I've done it before, I can... I can think about the game a lot less, but that makes me feel like I have to fill the, I guess, video time with some other form of substance, since it's not just, you know, Minecraft blind playthrough where I've never played this before. Yeah. I don't know. Hopefully that makes sense, but I won't be surprised if it doesn't, especially since I tend to lose my train of thought quite a bit, so, so I think I said that how i wanted to whatnot but i'll be honest i won't be too surprised if you know if what i'm saying doesn't make so much sense yeah i i'll try to make something good out of this i guess is just some of what i'm see even that doesn't feel like the way i'm trying to say that but but at the same time, yeah, I will try and make something good out of this series. 
so long as oh hey a witch hut so long as i you know i guess have the drive to play so hopefully i don't hit you know a bit of a burnout with the game like in the next three days for example yeah i i, I don't know we'll see how it goes but it's really gonna be, be i'm not gonna say it's gonna be really dependent on how this does like this series starts to do on youtube but that'll definitely play a part in it because you know if it's it ends up being something that like two views nobody watches nobody cares about then i mean it is what it is but then you know it's not gonna be something that i'm gonna really want to stick to because at the end of the day i'm gonna do stuff that i enjoy but at the same time if nobody else enjoys it then it's gonna be harder for me to enjoy if that makes sense it's like yeah i know youtube is kind of a balance of either or like just doing this type of stuff is a balance of either just you do only what makes you happy but that makes it a lot harder for growth i guess or you do exactly what appeases other people at the cost of your own joy and so i, I want to try to find a balance between that and i'm talking as if you know i'm one of the big dogs thousands millions subs but it's just kind of i guess how i feel about this and so i know this might be kind of a bit of a contradiction to what i was saying in my update video but yeah it's still gonna i'm still gonna try and like be aware of the fact that this could go someplace but i trying to keep in mind that you know still just have fun with it do my own thing but like i, I was really happy with the cuphead video the dlc because the feedback support that that gained in comparison to some of the other videos recently and so i guess i guess i kind of hope to just keep that kind of trend going but i know i know some things will land better than others and that i'm that also could fall on me for the fact that i don't really I don't really branch out too much. I don't like I I stream on Twitch every now and then. I I make videos on YouTube. One of my biggest issues is the fact that I don't have a set schedule. Another major issue for me is in with yeah. Another major issue for me with regards to I guess content and growth and whatnot is the fact that I don't really try and branch out like an idea that I kind of thought about just because I know that, or at least from what I understand, it actually can stupidly really help get eyes on stuff is like YouTube shorts. It's not something that I'm interested at all in, but I know that, or from what I understand, that stuff kind of spreads like wildfire. So if I, you know, try and if i try and do something with that then i could help myself out here with that another big avenue to go down is trying to like brand myself on tiktok but i have at this point in time i have absolutely no interest in tiktok i i've only ever downloaded it once and i only had it installed on my phone for like three hours because yeah i made a video to try and brand myself there well, not just kind of like a hello, I'm Dev the Beast, whatever. Just made a video, downloaded TikTok, made an account, put it there, and then I was just like, I don't know. I, I just I I don't I don't really care about TikTok, yeah. Basically the point of the rambling is just I know that there's ways I could I guess try and widen the net on you know what kind of eyes are on my content but it's i don't know it's it's weird to describe i just i'm not really worried about that right now 
or at least i don't know i'm not worried about spreading my name through every bit of social media there is i also just i don't know i don't want to say it's more effort than i care to do i i feel like that is part of it at least like if i were to be trying to keep up with you know seven different accounts and whatnot like tiktok instagram whatever like i mean i have an instagram account and i have it linked in pretty much the description of each of my videos and also like on twitch but the last time i posted on that was literally like two years ago at least is that a lush cave it is a lush cave that's crazy uh oh that could have been bad I'm not too 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 worried about uh spreading my name everywhere right now but i think i might try and look into i guess spreading or getting my name out there on youtube shorts or here on youtube through youtube shorts but i also feel like i gotta be be careful because that might net results that i'm not looking for i i, I don't know I'll, I'll see how that all goes i might try and mess with it so i guess just here's your warning that you might start seeing some shorts i might do some might do some older stuff before i get into some of the newer stuff i don't know i'll, I'll mess around with it i think maybe i'm not gonna make that promise what i will say though is i think i might right now just while playing this i'm thinking i might start up something on pal world soon honestly i know i know what i was saying earlier in the video about two survival games but i feel like i feel like it's different enough and i still really am enjoying pal worlds and there is still i don't know if i would say a lot that i haven't explored but there is still quite a bit because for like a beta game early access whatever and for how young the game is there is a stunning amount of stuff in it like i did not expect the game to be nearly the, as big as it was i mean just some of the stuff like you look around and it kind of reminds me of some older games because some older games because like you look around you see stuff way off in the distance looks like a png but you pretty well know that that's you know just background filter so you're not looking at that's just oh my god i did not even see that creeper jesus no now i'm panicking yeah uh part of the background of like older games is just like a png of a PNG of a mountain, for example. To try and get the point across that it's supposed to have more, but because of games back then and whatnot and their limitations, they kind of couldn't have more. But yeah, I'm saying this blabbing again, whatever, rambling, because that's what I thought about some of the stuff in Power Worlds is like some of this some of the background and all that it's like i i assumed that was just there to try and fill the background but then as i go on i realize like the giant icy mountain that you see way off in the distance and whatnot that kind of looks like a png from the start of the game it's like that's not just a png to fill you know the background so you're not looking at the same shade of blue it's genuinely something you can go to and so there's i don't know it's like i was really impressed with that and kind of just caught off guard because i didn't realize it was going to be so big of a game but yeah unfortunately for the sake of the sake of if i were to start a series on it I've explored a fair bit more than 
I should have for that sake, I'd say. But I think it still could be fun to do something on. I guess if you made it this far, yeah, just let me know. Do you want to see? Do you want to see Minecraft? Do you not want to see Minecraft? Let me know on that, and then let me know if you'd be interested in Power Worlds or other game suggestions. Yeah, I think that's the third damn time I'm bringing that up. But yeah, just I guess I kind of want to reiterate the point. I am. I I I definitely would appreciate any feedback, constructive criticism, whatnot. But then also, I am more than open to suggestions. Just because I know... I know me. I know that despite the fact that I do like a lot of games, I, you know, kind of struggle to figure out what I want to play. I. Here's an easy way to say it. I'm indecisive. There we go. That's why I posted the poll and whatnot of hey which which of these survival games do you want to see because well one to figure out what any of you might want to watch but also because i'm indecisive and couldn't choose but then i was thinking as much as i'd like to play grounded and whatnot i think excuse me yeah what was that even from whatever as much as i'd like to play grounded i think i'll let that one sit a bit longer until i have more of an urge to play because right now it's just an urge to play a survival game i did kind of have an urge to play grounded but that's started to fade away so i think i'll let it continue to fade away instead of trying to grab back onto it because then it'll be that awkward battle of am i playing because i want to or because i had the urge and don't want to lose that urge yet but, yeah, Minecraft, honestly, right now, I I think I might say Minecraft could end up like that. Just because, as I said in my update video, whatnot. Damn, I am referencing a lot of my own old older stuff. Jesus. But, as I said in the update video, started playing, at this point, probably a month or so ago with a couple friends. And so that started to get me back into my Minecraft phase, but then I got cut off early, earlier than I would have liked just because they started getting busy and then I started getting busy. But yeah, well, again, I'll, I'll try and do some things to spice up this series that I don't normally do. Another thing that I think I thought of was... Ooh, hey, a ravine. I know, I know I was saying, like, have, have you all leave suggestions for stuff to do in videos, and I'll pick the ones that I think are challenging, fun, whatever, but also take, or just also set out some goals for myself, which is going to be harder to do in the first, in the first couple videos, just because I need to figure out where I'm going to be staying and whatnot. Just get a feel for everything. But say I start building this kingdom and whatnot. I could set out one of the goals. B, A, build this part of it. Like, hey, build the throne room. Or, hey, build one of the villagers' houses or whatever. Something like that. I don't know. But if I set out three goals, it's like... some. As an example for this video, which... Pro actually... Probably for next video, because something tells me that this is kind of coming to an end. But say for the next video, it's like, set three goals for myself. Get full iron armor. Uh, build a nether portal. Stuff like that. I, but then I could also incorporate my stuff with your stuff. Depending on how this goes, my, my thinking has been like, three three challenges per video to try and pull off and so right now i might you know start off making my own depending on what kind of responses i get here today or with this video but it, yeah i think for the next video i'm not gonna fully commit to this until the start of next video 
But I think I'll make three challenges of my own. One being, like, get full iron armor, which I already have an easy start thanks to the old village over there. But full iron armor. Uh, I don't know. Build a nether portal. And then... I don't know. Let's say something like raid a pillager outpost. But it, if we do actually commit to those ideas, then... I think as time goes on, I would evolve it to be, instead of, I think three things, I think of a couple things, like, I think, what am I trying to say? I have three ideas and whatnot, three challenges for myself to start. I'll continue to have three challenges, but I'll come up with two for myself and then take one from the comments and then swap it to be one for myself, one for the, two for the comments, and then... If this, you know, actually does become something between, like, all of us and whatnot, then just three or maybe more from you guys. And then, yeah, I I don't know. I'm really just spitballing this. This could entirely flop. It really depends on my own motivation and then also kind of the engagement that this gets. But, yeah. I guess just let's say we're dreaming big. We don't know how far along we'll make it. But yeah, for now, I think I'm going to end this here just because I think I want to, I guess, quickly just edit this down, get it out there, and then probably start downloading the Grand Inquisitor video or from Galaxy Heroes. As of the time you're seeing this, I probably will have already done it if I decide to, but probably get around to trying to stream uh, IL-1 of Puphead on Expert Mode. And then, yeah, I don't know. Also, just do my own stuff. Hopefully, if all works out, work out. <laughs> and then, yeah, just have lunch, whatever. I don't know. I I still have at least six hours of this day to go. Probably. Actually, does that say it's 10? Holy, I thought it was 11. Almost 12. It's closing on 11, not 12. Okay. I have quite a bit more time than I thought, but. Yeah, I tend not to make the best of my time, so I want to try and better that. So, yeah. Okay, that is... I was hoping it would go through the door. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to end this. This is going to be shorter than I thought, but I, I just... I kind of feel like I want to do... Or try and make the most out of today. So, maybe I'll stream soon. If all goes well, you know, let's say I'm going to try and make the most out or today's challenge beat an iron golem in a fight. That'll be a good way to challenge myself to end the video. Granted, this is way easier than it needs to be. So, you know what? We'll take the challenge that I was going to give myself tomorrow and give it to myself today. And by tomorrow, I mean next video, not actually tomorrow. So let's go challenge myself to take out that pillager outpost without dying right now. Yeah, though. that'll be my way of challenging myself before the end of this video. Because I'm talking about like wanting to do all these challenges, but this video has been very laid back. So I'm going to push myself out of my comfort zone and whatnot, because typically I wouldn't even think of raiding these things until I have full iron armor. Or I would be stupid and be like, oh yeah, I have a shield, I can handle it, and then just get destroyed. So, yeah, I'm gonna go for it. But then that'll lead to the village getting raided if I kill the captain, so I gotta try and avoid killing the captain. That'll be fun. But I mean, hey, no one said this would be- I should have brought the leads in case there's allies here. Oh well. You live, you learn. I'm here. I'm not turning back. Probably should. There. Respawn point set, but in theory I won't need it. Alright. Cool. Off to a good start. We haven't gotten shot yet. I saw an alley. There's multiple. Damn.
Give me a goat horn. I know you have a goat horn to give. I hope you have a goat horn to give at least. Get off. Thank you. Oh my god, he died. I also hate that if these guys run like inside me, they shoot past my shield. That makes things quite a bit more difficult. Ooh, smithing templates. That's handy. Alright, raid successful, I think. Yippee! Now, I do have bad omens, so... Uh, I should probably lose bad omen. Before getting back to the village. Meaning I should probably try and get three iron. And milk a cow. Because that's not going to wear off for how long? Yeah. Two hours? Tough. I'm not going to just sit here for two hours. But I also would rather not let the village die. Oh, hey. Iron. That was actually rather easy. And this area is not nearly as deep as I thought it was going to be. Cool. Yeah. Part of me would try and brave out a raid right now, but at the same time, I realize I am criminally underprepared for that. So, I'm not going to do that. Alright, uh... Hopefully you don't hear all my button clicking. I know that sometimes that gets picked up. And so when it does, I feel awkward. But we'll see. Chair noises. Huh, maybe not. Alright, um... Yeah, no, I'm just gonna continue to do my thing, get back to the village, whatever. That's not gonna be super duper interesting. So, hey, one challenge that I thought of has been completed. So, with that, I think think i'm gonna just wrap up this video so yeah uh as i've said plenty of times in this video now if you have any ideas if you have any content that you'd like to see feel free to leave it down below if you have any uh ideas for what to do in this world please feel free to let me know and yeah if you enjoyed this video please consider liking and subscribing but even if you just enjoyed the video, I've done my job. But yeah, with that, I hope to catch you in the next stream and or video. And yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace.